Welcome to Home Shopping Network 2.0, where we get the latest gadgets, like this, the Magic Keyboard, with a new, stunning finish. In all fairness, the Magic Keyboard is a great device for typing. It's really great and optimized for Mac, but so much more improvements than this. Now first, let's talk about the build quality. The build quality is very great. It's super durable, there's no flexing, obviously, and it's honestly been pretty great for the past few weeks. Obviously, in 2015, this was a really big jump between, at the time, the scissor switch keyboard, which looked kind of more like the original design, but it's more thinner. But it's not yet exactly like this one, just so much more thinner, and it's so much more convenient to just plug it in and forget about it. It's been pretty good, I have no scratches on the back, it's just super great and super reliable and really easy to just toss in a backpack. Now the keyboard just comes in a white, it doesn't come in space gray, unlike the numeric keypad models, and it's pretty great, you don't need a numeric keypad. And I think the white looks better, but I do like a space gray, and I do like the colors with the iMac. Now let's get to the Bluetooth connectivity, which is a huge leap over the Magic Keyboard from the previous generation. The Magic Keyboard pairs in just two seconds compared to the previous generation, which takes five seconds or to two minutes because it just wouldn't show on your Mac. But this one, it just pairs in an instant, and you can literally just pair it, zip to your iPhone, zip to your iPad, and it's just super fast. Now let's get to the keyboard quality. First, I think the scissor switch is a very great step ahead. The keyboard quality is phenomenal. It's the same keyboard found on most Macs these days, with the Max having a little bit more depth in the keys compared to this one, which has more lighter keys. And it doesn't have the spotlight dictation and also the do not disturb key. And also to note, it doesn't have a power button and it doesn't have a lock key like the iMac keyboard. And it doesn't have a touch ID on it. That's only on the iMac keyboard. And I believe that Touch ID, a power button, and a lock button is just more convenient than just having an eject key. Because all you need to do with it is just is just an eject and USB, and, and then that's it. The eject key just doesn't make sense in a world with M1. Every single key is full-sized, except the arrow up and arrow down. Key, but on the numeric keypad models, every single key is full-sized. Now, let's get to the question, should you buy the Magic Keyboard? And my answer to this question is totally. If you're a Mac user, you should definitely try getting this keyboard. It's just super convenient. And for Mac users, I think it's just the best keyboard because it's optimized for Mac OS. It's just great because the keys are command, obviously. For PC users, I know a lot of PC users who just like a mechanical keyboard, not really a keyboard that's low profile, they more like a mechanical keyboard, and I think this is just the best opportunity to get another keyboard, not necessarily a magic keyboard because it's more optimized for the back, and it's not really optimized for PC, but you can use it with PCs if you really want to and you don't have another keyboard. But I think if you want the Mac experience, just super optimized for Macs, just really want those low profile keys. And it's just great for people who just need a keyboard on the go. And it's not too expensive. Now there are other alternatives, obviously, like the Logitech keyboards, which are arguably kind of the same for a lower price, but obviously, you just get that Apple technology. And yes, you can pair it to other devices, and it pairs pretty instantly and quickly, just like the Magic Keyboard. But at the end of the day, I think that the Magic Keyboard is just really magical and really the best keyboard for Mac users 
obviously, as I said before, it's really optimized for the Mac, and it has fast Bluetooth pairing, and you can pair it to your iPad and your iPhone, and it's just super easy to do that, obviously, because it's an Apple product, and I just believe that spending the extra buck will make the Magic Keyboard the best keyboard for people who need a keyboard and can just get one at their fingertips and I just believe that the Magic Keyboard just gets those things and just gets the best experience possible for the Mac and that's why I think the Magic Keyboard is worth it and is worth your time and is worth the money that you pay for this and I believe everyone will enjoy this keyboard. And that's going to do it for this review, guys. If you guys like the video, please do subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Oh,